cheese and onion pie with mash, gravy and peas. Definitely the darkest chip test so far for Halloween. I've not ordered chips unusually for me, but I do chip test. Mm. Quite nice. I don't think these are homemade. I think they're more maybe like oven chips. Maybe a five. Yeah, five. See Louis one? I think they're a bit hot for him. Can't see them, it's that dark. Oh, is that it? I think we'll go for a five. Five. In the darkest chip test so far. The mash looks nice though. Can't see it so dark. Unless we light it with a candle. I mean, candle, of course. Mash test. <laughs> it didn't last long. Evidence that the chip was very edible. Mm. How was your pie? Lovely, really nice. Excellent. So what are we having for breakfast today then, Joe? Bunt sausages. <laughs> ben, Linda McCartney fingers. Oops. You may have had the gas a bit high. I think I did. Well, There's, the whippet. There's the whippet still in the giant bed. He does think that's his bed, you know. Comfy, aren't you? So a night in Tannehill Car Park, we parked behind the pub to stop a bit of the wind, but uh, it was a really windy night wasn't it? Yeah it was. I think they might be going in a bin. I don't mind them. <laughs> Cremated <in sausage. laughs> So we've had a somewhat windy night at Tannehill and that's not just Joe farting. <laughs> It was blowing a gale up there. We had to park in the car park at the back of the pub to shelter from the wind. But it was still blowing a gale and chipping down the road. Good old Tannehill. We had a nice meal in there last night. And we did the darkest chip test so far. As in light? As in there was no light. Not We're setting up for Halloween, so you can't hardly see it. So we're just on our way now from Tannehill and we're heading into uh, Cumbria. And we're off to Coniston. We're going to stay at Coniston for a few days. And Louis is here. Hi, Lou. It's nice and sunny over there. And it's freezing outside. We're as well pleased to have our new heater in here. We had it set at 23 degrees. And it was absolutely toasting it. Coniston and it's Coniston Hall campsite. Uh, it's a bit windy as you can probably hear from the soundtrack but the sun's out and the forecast for tomorrow is quite nice. I hope to go for a paddle in the canoe tomorrow on the lake. And there's nobody here hardly. There's hardly any campers or anybody. Considering it's half term. There's the old hall. There's the campsite. It's got a slipway down to the lake. And it's also got a hard standing here to keep your yacht. Some static caravans as well. It's an impressive building, isn't it? I wonder why that goes up like that. Different. It's a slipway straight into the lake. Sailing boat house there as well.
Now he's got his jumper, or his hoodie, his coat and his harness on today, just to keep him warm. Oh, we're in the pub again. We are. What's the pub called? The Bull. The Bull, in Coniston. The Bull Inn. And Joe's having chips again. I am. Wow. Two chip tests in one, one video. Yeah. At least you can see this one. Yes, it was a bit dark in Tannehill last night, wasn't it? It was good though. It was um, halloween -y. Halloween. -y. Halloween. -y. There's Louis on another pub floor. It's very good at pub floors, isn't it? So, Joe, what's the chips like in the bowl? <laughs> Did I catch a mid floor? Yeah, Alright. So, what are Skinny. they? Skinny. Skinny fries. Yeah. Rated up. Five. Five. There's lots of fives around at the moment. Mm. Nobody's beaten. Was it Leek? Leek chips are the They're best. Still the best ones in the world. Yeah. These are all right. But... So the cat score is five. Mhm. Mm Good bam. I tried it with Louis and he wasn't over interested. No. Well, we've not had a bad day, have we? No, it's been... Is it day two? Yeah. So we went Thursday night. Joe got Friday off this week and I don't work Friday, so she got Friday off. So Thursday night we went to Tannehill. Had a few beers, something to eat. Spent the night in a very windy car park. Right at the top. Right at the top. Got Luke. Britain's oh. highest pub. And then today, we had a bit of a lie in, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't know what time it was, did we? Because it's so dark in the camper van, it's so quiet up at Tan Hill. I don't think we got out of bed well about half past nine. So we didn't set off for about 11. Which is unheard of for us. Normally me and Louie are prop out six, half past six in the morning. Then we drove down to KB Stephen, got some supplies, come across to Coniston, just had a walk around the village from the campsite, just walking back. Another chip test, we had two, two chip tests. Two chip <laughs> tests. <laughs> I've only had two beers. Two chip tests in one video. Uh, both score five. One is very dark due to Halloween. And now we're on our way back to the campsite. Cup of tea, yeah. slice of cake. Yeah. And see what happens tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Siesta. Or maybe. maybe a little bit of a walk around the lake later. Maybe. She was gone, has to be seen stealing my bike. One thing I have noticed, Joe, since we've got the new van, is that you seem to spend a lot more time in bed. <laughs> well, when you've got this view and you've got a little Louis laid next to you, could you? A little whip eye. A little whip eye. And it's uh, 22 degrees in here. <sighs> Boring, and it's it? only four degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> I went to fill the kettle up and get some water earlier and it was absolutely freezing. <laughs> it really is cold. But it's lovely and warm in here. So are we just gonna drive to places <laughs> now? With a good lay in view. The bed. Lay in the bed. Watch a, watch T V or a DVD <laughs> and look out the window. Well, maybe out the winter. <laughs> No, we'll get kitted up in a bit and brave the elements. Go for a walk. Even Louis's not got out of bed yet. He's not even been up for a wee and it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Here's Louis on the bed, looking out the bedroom window, staring out at sheep. Not a bad view, that, is it? Louis? Louis on guard. Louis. Yes, you. What are you watching for? That sheep got your eye. So we're in another pub again. What's this one called? What's wrong with that? Um, Crown Inn. Crown Inn. I was going to say the YouTube, but that's up there, isn't it? It's very nice. Trying the Guinness. 
And Lou has got his outfit on and his own blanket. Lou? Lou? Mm -hmm. The third chip test. This the weekend. Go on then. There's a little nose coming up here. A little nose up. A bit of salt on. Oh, hot. Oh. They're actually quite nice. They're not like the homemade ones like we had in the league. A bit more oven chipney. Or frozen chips. Deep fried. But they're a bit better than the last two of this weekend, so I'd say six. It's a very detailed description. Mm. You're going to test them with a whippet. Mm. Because as they're looking. It needs a bit without salt on. And a bit that's cooled. I don't think it's cool enough. Oh. oh, yeah. He's eating it. So the cats go for them? Six out of ten. Three in one video. One head of. And one in the dark. Well, we've had three nights. <laughs> or three meals. And you have to eat chips every day. And you have to day. eat <laughs> chips every day. It is law. So what have you got? You've got a sandwich. I've got a sandwich. An enormous sandwich. And a lovely little salad. And I've got a butternut squash. Oh, look at them pie. roasties. Roasties. They look nice. I'm definitely going to have to have a roast. Push down with Guinness. He really likes them chips. <laughs> Do you? And we stopped up at Windermere to have a look around the shops. We blew a wee. I didn't get a photograph yet, do I? I didn't know it was duck. Because it's somewhere near where all the ducks are. Did you have a smell, see if it smelled of duck food? No. <laughs> so what time is it? Well, on the watch it's half eleven. <laughs> Nine o'clock. But it's actually 12.30 if you look at it that way, it's clocked up back. So this trip to the lakes in town has just been basically pub to pub with a few photographs and walks in between. Yes. Are you having chips again? I am, yeah. Oh, okay. Lou is on the floor again. So we're in Windermere, we've got some skinny fries again. Seems to be all the rage around here. Another chip test. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Probably a six. Another six? Yeah. They wear fives, I think, weren't they? Yeah. So that's the fourth chip test, is it? Yeah, this weekend. Nice. Oh, Louis after one. Stay there. Oh yeah, Louis likes them. So they're six. Six. In this video, we go to Tannehill and we have two days in the lakes and we bring canoe, mountain bike, climbing, mountaineering gear. <laughs> Don't use any of it. We just basically go from pub to pub and test <laughs> test chips. I and drink bike. beer. Oh, you used the bike for about half an hour. It was not half an hour. It was How about long? An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Did you get lost? No, I was oh, cycling right. around the lake. Okay, we used the bike. We took the canoe off and then put it back on. Yeah, but it's too windy. It was too windy. That's a good excuse. So all we basically did was take lots of nice photographs, a bit of video. Did lots of walking. Went a lot, went, did a lot of walking from pub to pub, testing chips. Lou is laid on very uh, an increased number of pub floors. To add to his collection. To add to his collection. So he does tick those off a bit like a train spotter. <laughs> and now we're just finishing our walk in Windermere, back to the van and head home. Hey. It's been a lovely weekend though. It's, it's been cold. Nice. It's been nice having the heater in the van. But one of the best things we do all the time is we basically look where the best weather is, jump in the van and head there. And sometimes it works. This time it certainly worked. 